Concerns are growing now over the potential spread of monkeypox here in the U.S. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 things you need to know about monkeypox. The CDC says they are now releasing some vaccines from the national stockpile. For this list, we're looking at the most critical information regarding the recent outbreak of monkeypox in different parts of the world. Number 10, where it originated. This morning, a Massachusetts man is in isolation after being diagnosed with the first case of monkeypox in the U.S. this year. Although monkeypox is all over the news right now, it's been known about for decades. This disease was first identified in monkeys used for research in 1958, and the first recorded human case was in 1970 in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, where most human cases have been recorded. Cases outside of Africa were reported for the first time in 2003, when an outbreak occurred in the United States. Health officials at the time cautioned an alarmed public as more cases turned up across Wisconsin. Direct contact with the skin lesion of monkeypox can transmit the virus. While monkeypox shares similarities with smallpox, the symptoms tend not to be as severe. Important to know, it starts as, you know, a normal viral illness usually does. Fever, some chills, some body aches, some swollen lymph nodes, and then it can progress to a rash. The natural reservoir of monkeypox, such as the specific animal it originates from, is currently unknown. Number nine, how it spreads. Monkeypox is a zoonotic disease, meaning it spreads from animals to humans. Despite its name, it seems it's not actually spread by monkeys. While an exact animal has yet to be determined, the World Health Organization has identified rodents as a likely culprit. What's interesting, though, is that experts believe that the disease actually originates from smaller mammals like rodents. The outbreak in 2003 was attributed to pet prairie dogs that had become infected. Monkeypox can spread from animals to humans through things like scratches, bites, and even bedding. Monkeypox can be spread to humans from an infected animal, like a monkey, a rat, or a squirrel. Once a person is infected with monkeypox, they can spread it through sneezing and coughing, as well as through sharing items like clothes. This is much less common, but it can be transmitted from close contact with an infected person. And this can be done through broken skin, the respiratory tract, the eyes, and the mouth. Although monkeypox can be passed via sexual activity, it should not be mistaken for a sexually transmitted disease. Number eight, symptoms. As mentioned earlier, monkeypox is similar to smallpox, as both diseases come from the virus family poxverity. With monkeypox, it's, it's similar to an infection that has been eradicated from planet Earth. It's similar to smallpox in that the lesions typically are all the same age. Although the symptoms between the two are similar, monkeypox cases tend to be much less intense. The early symptoms, like with many infections, are nonspecific, so it feels like a viral type infection, right. as we've all known about for the last yes. while. Among the most common symptoms of monkeypox are fever, chills, headache, muscle and back aches, exhaustion, and swollen lymph nodes. A rash then occurs, which typically starts at the face before spreading. This leads to lesions and ends with scabs, which eventually fall off. The primary difference between monkeypox and smallpox symptoms is that unlike monkeypox, smallpox symptoms don't include swollen lymph nodes. Number seven, where it's spread to. While monkeypox is usually contained to Africa, cases have been reported this year in non-endemic countries. Austria has joined Israel and Switzerland in confirming cases of monkeypox there. These include the UK, the US, Canada, Italy, France, Germany, and Australia. As of May 25, 2022, no deaths have been reported due to monkeypox. The virus is rare to get, rare to die from, and rare to transmit. The only reason why it hasn't been a problem to this point is that the virus has not ever really figured out efficient human-to-human -human transmission. There had also been zero cases confirmed in Latin America. The Centers for Disease Control has advised travelers to, quote, practice enhanced precautions. These tips include avoiding contact with sick individuals and animals such as primates and rodents. It's also advised to avoid meat and other products derived from African wild animals and to keep hands clean and away from one's face. Number six, how it's diagnosed. 
If you're receiving medical treatment or looking for an official diagnosis, it's important to be transparent. Tell your provider if you've been in contact with anyone who has or is suspected of having monkeypox. It actually can spread person to person through respiratory. Um, mm. So that's not great. Diagnosis can be made through observing symptoms alone, but cases are confirmed by taking fluid from lesions and submitting for PCR tests. According to the World Health Organization, the best diagnostic test is PCR of the fluid from an unroofed skin lesion. As mentioned previously, the most telltale sign of having monkeypox is swollen lymph nodes. In May 2022, the CDC described the risk posed by monkeypox to the general public as, quote, low. But it's not cause for concern on the general, for the general public. We just need to understand the situation. However, they still advise seeking immediate treatment if a previously unseen skin rash develops anywhere on your body. Number five, the two variants. Monkeypox is one name shared by two different virus strains. One comes from Central Africa, while the other comes from West Africa. As of May 2022, all recent cases have been confirmed as being from the West African strain. Thankfully, this is the milder of the two variants, with a significantly lower mortality rate. The strain that's being seen in the current outbreak in, in Europe is the West African strain, which has a mortality rate of about one in a hundred. However, some experts believe this recent outbreak could lead to monkeypox spreading more easily and evolving further. This is quite alarming from a, a public health point of view and something that we really need to get a grip of and, and control as, as quickly as we can. Although there's currently no indication of a third monkeypox variant, it's still vital to contain the spread of this disease to prevent such a scenario from occurring. As individuals, it is certainly advisable not to have any close contacts um, if you if you have confirmed to have monkeypox. Number four, who's most at risk? While anyone can contract monkeypox, the disease can be more dangerous for some individuals than others. We do know from reports from Africa where this disease has circulated in outbreaks over many years that there are certain individuals who are much more at risk of severe disease. These include pregnant and immunocompromised people and young children. The first recorded case of monkeypox was in a nine-year-old child. According to the CDC at the end of May 2022, those in the LGBTQ plus community are at greater risk. The CDC is now urging the LGBT community to be on alert. Still, public health experts stress anyone can get it. That same month, the CDC also said there may be a higher risk associated with individuals with skin conditions such as eczema or dermatitis. However, the spreading of this disease is by no means exclusive to one particular group of people. But again, can happen to anyone and it's important not to stigmatize the illness, Kate. It's a, it's a very good note. Number three, how it compares to COVID-19. News in the last few years has been dominated by one disease, COVID-19, as well as its multiple variants. So you're probably wondering how similar monkeypox is to COVID, if at all. Though both have spread around the world, experts advise not comparing the two. COVID um, is an aerosolized virus. You can have some degree of aerosolization with monkeypox, but it's primarily through very close, intimate, face-to-face -face contacts. One major difference is how easily the diseases are spread. Monkeypox is said to be much less contagious. Yeah, while this is transmissible from person to person, uh, it's not nearly as transmissible as some of the uh, viral respiratory infections that we've seen. However, as of May 2022, it's unclear whether asymptomatic transmission occurs. As with COVID, if you suspect you have monkeypox, you should avoid contact with others and schedule a medical visit right away. Wear a mask whenever possible to prevent further transmission. If you're older, if you have underlying illness, if you're immune compromised, be cautious. Go back to wearing that mask through when you're going indoors to group activities. Number two, treatment. As of May 2022, no treatment exists that's specifically designed to cure monkeypox. However, there are still methods for fighting against this disease. Antiviral medications and immunoglobulins meant for smallpox have been used to ward off monkeypox with promising results. There are certain antiviral therapies that could be useful against it to shorten the duration or um, prevent severe 
illness from occurring. The smallpox vaccine can also be administered to help reduce severity and risk of infection. Illness can last between two and four weeks. It's important for patients with monkeypox to avoid contact with others during this time. It's super important if you develop those symptoms to seek medical attention and to remain home if you can. In May 2022, Belgium became the first country to make a 21-day quarantine mandatory for any individuals who test positive for monkeypox. The government of Belgium has announced they will establish a mandatory 21-day quarantine for people showing symptoms of monkeypox. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Prevention Now that we know about monkeypox and its effects, how do we avoid contracting it? The CDC has many common sense tips. There's no need to panic here. This is not going to spread and get into the general population and cause an epidemic like coronavirus has. These include avoiding contact with animals that could carry the disease as well as infected people and regular hand washing. Adults at high risk ages 18 and over can be given the Gineos vaccine, which is meant to ward off smallpox and monkeypox. According to the CDC, smallpox and monkeypox vaccines can still be effective when administered after virus exposure. By doing all you can to keep yourself and others safe, you can help curb the spread of monkeypox. Overall, the risk of getting monkeypox is very low. Important, it's very low, but people should still be aware of the symptoms and talk to a doctor if there are any concerns at all. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.